Hello, today we're going to take a look at the clone in Painter. Find out what a clone is, why you would want to use one, and how it works. First you'd open a file, any kind of an image that you're going to work from, usually a photograph, and then go to File, Clone, which makes an exact copy of your original image. So far, so good. Now to do the Select All on that clone, and hit the backspace key, the delete key, or edit clear. And now you have a white canvas. But you still have a connection between the original and your copy, your clone. So that when you use the cloning facility, which we're going to show you in a second, it still will bring the colors forward from your original onto the clone copy on the right. Okay, so let's see how this looks in Painter. This is Painter 10. And I've got a nice photograph of an apple here against a white background. With that file open, I go up to File and click Clone. That's all there is to it. And that creates the clone image. And it says Clone of Red Apple. You can verify that it is connected as a clone image by going up to File again and go to Clone Source to see which file has a check mark next to it. In this case, it is indeed still the red apple file. So we're good. Now the next step is to go and select all, either Command or Control A or go select all, and then delete, hit the backspace key or edit, clear, whatever works for you, and clear the canvas. Take a brush that you like to work with. In this case, we'll use the captured bristle. And to make sure that you are in clone color mode, go down here to this little rubber stamp and click it so that the color wheel is faint and sort of grayed out. That tells you that the color clone is turned on. So in other words, now when I start painting here, the color source is going to be the apple on the on the left side, the original apple. Once you've cleared the canvas, you can turn on tracing paper so that you can see the image that you are painting. The outlines and the details can show through with the tracing paper. Turning that on, you can see the image by clicking on it. You can also vary how much of the image comes through by changing the percentages here. You can see here at 90% it's very faint. Keep the reset value very high to bring through a lot of detail. Keep it very low to bring through less. This is something that you'll see through practice and playing with, with Painter. It becomes pretty obvious how that makes a difference. So I'm going to keep it pretty high and start painting. Also, change the size of the brush. The smaller the brush, the more detailed, obviously. It's, it's this sampled area that it's bringing over from the original image is smaller, and therefore it's more detailed. And you'll want to do that when you're it, working on these smaller areas, like the uh, stem, any place where you need to have uh, detailed information. And then go back to the bigger size. Use the bracket keys to make the brush bigger or smaller. Or you can use the toggle on the slider up in the toolbar. I'm going to finish this and I'll be right back. Okay, the apple's done. You can get nice soft edges by turning down the opacity and the reset. And then when you paint the edges, it'll be a lot softer because it's not pulling through all the detailed information. Just a little tip, I'm kind of getting ahead of myself here. I just wanted to show you the basics of cloning. And we'll get into more techniques in further lessons. I hope you enjoyed this. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.